Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be designing a triple five timer application circuit using Tinkercad. So before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Tinkercad is a free, easy to use web app that equips the engineers and designers in order to come up with an innovative 3D design or a electronic circuit design and also can do coding on this particular web app. So you can sign up for this web based application using your Gmail address and uh, you can see this particular sign up process would hardly take few seconds and you can start working on your any kind of circuit design or your code blocks so let us start with our circuit design application so I already have an existing circuit now let us create a new circuit for this particular tutorial so now you can see this particular workspace of uh, Tinkercad and uh, what we will do is that we will try to simulate this particular triple uh, five timer application circuit so the first and the foremost thing we require is the breadboard so you can virtually see the breadboard uh, where many of the engineers would work uh, in reality right so you can simulate this virtual uh, circuit using the virtual breadboard so next we require a triple five timer and place this particular triple five timer in this particular breadboard and if you want to name the triple five timer you can name it next we require a resistor so in order to rotate use the R button on your keyboard and place this resistor on the breadboard mm, we want to name this particular resistor we'll name it as r1 and the resistance value will be one kilo ohm okay next place an another resistor which is around 100 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor on the breadboard now click on the resistor and name this resistor as R2 and the resistance value as 100 kilo ohm now we have to place a capacitor so click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic or on the breadboard and name this particular capacitor as C1 with a capacitance value of 10 micro farad now we require a battery source in order to power this particular circuit so select this 9 volt battery supply and in order to rotate use R and place this particular battery supply on the working window now you can zoom in and zoom out in order to uh, work accordingly on this particular platform now connect the positive terminal of a battery to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative terminal to the negative end or negative rail of the breadboard now we have to connect the wires across the triple five timer resistor capacitor so let us see how we will proceed further now connect this particular ground pin of the triple five timer to the negative terminal of the battery so place this wire from ground of triple five timer to the negative terminal of the battery next short the 
pin number or the trigger pin of triple five timer with the threshold pin of triple five timer. Now connect the terminal 2 of resistor 1 to the terminal 1 of resistor number 2 and the resistor number 2 is connected to the terminal of capacitor. Now the negative rail from one side to the another side we have to connect a wire and from the positive rail to another side of the positive rail we also need to connect a wire. Now connect the terminal 2 of capacitor to the negative terminal of the battery and also the power pin of triple five timer must be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and uh, the resistor terminal 1 of resistor R1 must also be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Next connect the discharge pin to the terminal 2 of resistor R1. Now the reset pin of triple five timer must be connected to the positive terminal of battery. Next in order to complete this triple five ap application we require a buzzer. So place this particular buzzer on the breadboard. The negative terminal must be connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the terminal 1 of capacitor must be connected in between the terminal of threshold and the trigger pin and connect the output terminal of triple five timer to the positive end of buzzer. Now in order to visualize this particular circuit we can also place an oscilloscope. So click on oscilloscope and place this oscilloscope on the workspace. Now connect the negative terminal of oscilloscope to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal of oscilloscope would be connected to the output of triple five timer. So this particular triple five application circuit has been completed. Now we have to analyze this. Uh, but uh, I had previously simulated this particular circuit. So let us go to that and uh, let us tinker it. So let us simulate this particular example. Okay. So click on this start, start simulation and you can hear this particular buzzer sound.
stop this particular simulation so this application is basically a triple five timer a stable oscillator application so here the pin 2 and 6 are connected to the circuit which would trigger itself each timing cycle thereby functioning as an oscillator so the C1 charges through resistor R1 and R2 but discharges through R2 resistor so the charge on the capacitor ranges from one third of VCC to two third of VCC and the oscillation frequency is independent of the battery voltage. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.